All right, I want to do another short little video here about the false prophecies of this Paul Begley guy. Uh, he's a liar. And I want to show you here a verse of Scripture, Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 22. It talks about when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. Okay? In other words, don't even pay attention to the guy. Just, you know, he's a loser. And that's what Paul Begley is. Now, you can watch the two videos. You just look it up, you know, his prophecies, 12 prophecies for 2013. But I'll just go over them here. He says, uh, number one, there would be three major solar flares. And he, you know, and when he's talking about it, he's like, it, it might, you know, there's a possibility that it might uh, affect the earth and, and there may be some parts of solar grids that get knocked out. Maybe, maybe, possibly. That's not prophecy. Okay, prophecy is is definite. This is what's going to happen. You study the Bible prophecies. There's no, it might happen, it may, it will happen. Number two, he said that there will be a massive mega earthquake in 2013. And then he said, and this is the first part of his video, he said that it's specifically approximately 8.7. How can you have a prophecy be specific, but yet approximate? Contradicts himself. And if you look it up, you can look and you can see there were no 8.7 earthquakes. And of course, he covers it by saying it's, it's in the ballpark of 8.7. There's, you know, it's just in the ballpark, but the number 8.7 kept coming into my mind. There wasn't one that was 8.7. So he lied. But, you know, he covers it up by saying it's maybe in the ballpark, you know. I mean, God told him 8.7, but, you know, God kind of messed up a little bit there. That's what these Satanists like this think. Number three, he says that there will be terrible tornadoes, but he's not sure whether they're going to occur. It's just terrible tornadoes someplace. Okay, uh, that's been the case for years and years and years and years now that there have been terrible tornadoes. It's not prophecy. Then he said, and I love this one, there will be a drought in Africa. You think so? Uh, Africa that has the world's largest desert in it? Africa that has more problems with drought than any other country ever? Uh, boy, you know, there's a safe bet that he's going to be right on that one, you know. There's a drought in Africa. Wow. You know, how impressive. Number five, he said that there would be unrest in Asia. Again, wow, what a prophecy. Number six, more shootings in America. Yeah. <laughs> you know, as long as there's Hollywood promoting the whole system and, and psychotropic drugs and, and MK Ultra mind control and and video games, violent video games, and everything else, of course there's going to be more shootings in America. Give me a break. Then in number seven, he says, they will try but not accomplish taking away your Second Amendment rights here in America. They've been trying that for years. Again, this isn't prophecy. This is just the same thing that happens every year. Number eight, another good one, the economy will suffer. Wow, you know, what a wonderful prophet here we have. Number nine, he said that there would be a great move of God in the body of Christ. Many people would be saved and that there would be a mighty revival in an unknown place. Huh? So as the apostasy gets worse and worse, there's more people falling away. There's more people that refuse to hear the truth, that turn away their ears from the truth. You know, the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. All that stuff, all those prophecies of the great falling away, you know. Oh no, there's going to be a great revival now. And it's funny because he lists a bunch of charismaniac revivals in the past. You know, crazy. Then he says that Syria would fall in 2013. I don't think that happened. Oops, you know, I guess he's a false prophet then. But number 11, we're going to listen to this one here. This, this one cracks me up. Listen to this. Listen to the surety of what God told him. And he says it's God telling him this stuff. Listen to this one. This is a good one. Uh, prophecy number 11, the seven-year peace agreement, the covenant found in Daniel chapter 927 to be confirmed, 50% chance it will be signed. It will definitely be debated, talked about, pursued. 
in great unrest in the UN. Uh, it's going to be signed 50% chance. If God's telling you that, it doesn't the Lord know the future? See? This guy is a faker. How in the world is he, has he deceived so many people? It's incredible. Well, let's continue here. Just watch the last couple seconds of this video. Don't want to waste too much of your time. Over Palestine. So keep an eye on those. And 12, prophecy number 12, uh, there will be the days of vengeance. This is the most uh, pro profound prophecy. I will be back with another video just for this prophecy. Number 12, the days of vengeance. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're almost out of time. Yes, and I am out of time listening to Paul Begley, okay? Uh, just wanted to do a couple videos on this guy, exposing him. Uh, he's a wicked false prophet, okay? This this guy is, is so ridiculous. I mean, he's got, you know, all kinds of Catholic stuff hanging around his house and everything else. I mean, he's just totally wicked. I'm going to do one more video uh, talking about a, a video that's come out exposing Paul Begley. And uh, then we're going to be done with this guy. Um, I'm doing this as a request from a brother that actually used to work with Paul Begley. And this guy is just ridiculous, this Paul Begley guy. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't, don't listen to this nutty, kooky prophecy stuff, okay? It's nonsense. Read your King James Bible. That's where you're prophecies are going to, the real prophecies that actually come true, that's where you find them right there.